dear student you have already studied the trigonometric ratios and you also know the standard angles let me make a quick recall of this table the standard angles you see the angles and the trigonometric functions 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees and you see the table of values there which i am just recalling for you well today's topic is allied angles what is an allied angle any angle which can be expressed in the form n pi by 2 plus or minus theta is called an allied angle it's called an allied angle of theta now here n is any integer pi by 2 radian you are aware of it it's a right angle and or you can call this as this pi by 2 radian equal to 90 degrees now how this allied angle what are the allied angles of theta i'll just take an example and explain to you let me consider theta to be equal to some 30 degrees now any angle which can be expressed in this form is called as an allied angle of theta for example if you say 30 degrees or it can be minus 30 degrees 60 degrees 120 degrees 150 degrees lot of angles like this these angles are the allied angles of 30 degrees well observe this 30 degrees can you express this 30 degrees in this particular form if you take n as 0 you get this 30 degrees use using this 30 degrees minus 30 degrees if you take n as equal to 0 you will be getting here as just theta that will that is minus theta you will be getting minus 30 degrees suppose if you take n as equal to 1 and if you take minus sign here you will be getting 90 minus theta 90 minus 30 you will get 60 and suppose if you take n as equal to 1 and if you take this plus then it will be that is 1 into 90 plus 30 then that will become 120 like that all these can be generated using this 30 degrees and all these angles are called the allied angles of 30 now suppose if i take 45 degrees unfortunately this 45 degrees can never be expressed using this formula so therefore this 45 degrees is not an allied angle of this 30 degrees however there may be some other angles which can be allied angles of 45 this is one very important concept for you now we shall discuss the trigonometric functions of minus theta well observe that diagram there op is the terminal side it makes an angle theta with the positive direction of the x axis well you can also observe the line op which makes an angle minus theta 
with the x axis because the angle was measured in the anti clockwise direction so therefore the angle xop was positive numerically the angle xoq is also same as that of theta but since it is being measured in the clockwise direction that angle is considered as minus theta now you should observe the coordinates of the point p there it is x comma y the coordinates of this q is x1 comma y1 and how this x comma y is related with x1 comma y1 is also given here x1 is equal to x and y1 is equal to minus y now let us consider what is this sin of minus theta the sin of minus theta is equal to that is y1 by r and you observe that y1 is equal to minus y so i'll write this as minus y by r and minus y by r is that is minus sin theta similarly consider cos of minus theta so this will become x1 by r and x1 is equal to x so x by r is now is equal to your cos theta consider tan of minus theta the tan of minus theta becomes y1 by x1 and your y1 is equal to minus y and x1 is equal to x so therefore this become equal to minus tan theta now we know the uh, reciprocal uh, relations so therefore if you want secant of minus theta so this will become equal to that is secant of minus theta happens to be the reciprocal of cos of minus theta so therefore this will become equal to secant theta and what about your cosecant of minus theta so this will become equal to minus cosecant theta so you should observe the trigonometric functions of minus theta minus theta is in the fourth quadrant so in fourth quadrant sin is negative cos is positive tan is negative then again secant is positive cosecant is again negative and we can also say that cot of minus theta this also because of the reciprocal relations so this will also be equal to minus cot theta now we'll do the trigonometric functions of pi minus theta so if theta is in the first quadrant then your pi minus theta is in the second quadrant and you should observe in the second quadrant your x1 is equal to minus x that means the abscissa becomes negative y1 is equal to y the ordinate is positive so now we are interested in finding what is the sin of pi minus theta your sin of pi minus theta becomes y1 by r and you know that y1 is equal to y so this is y by r this is equal to sin theta similarly here cos of pi minus theta becomes x1 by r and the second quadrant x1 is negative so therefore this will be minus x by r 
so this will be minus cos theta tan of pi minus theta is y1 by x1 so this will become y by minus x so this will become minus tan theta needless to say about this cot of pi minus theta this will be the reciprocal of this so reciprocal of minus tan theta so this will become equal to minus cot theta secant of pi minus theta it is the reciprocal of cos of pi minus theta that is minus cos theta reciprocal that will become minus secant theta now cosecant of pi minus theta so that will be the reciprocal of sin of pi minus theta so that will be again equal to cosecant theta so it is to be observed that in the second quadrant sin is positive cos is negative tan is negative cot is negative secant is negative and cosecant is positive so the speciality of this second quadrant is sin is positive if sin is positive cosecant also will be positive trigonometric functions of pi plus theta well if theta is in the first quadrant then pi plus theta will be in the third quadrant we can observe the terminal side now oq which is having the q is having the coordinates x1 comma y1 and the coordinates of p is x comma y and how they are related you should observe that since it is in the third quadrant your abscissa and the ordinate both are negative so that is why we are having x1 as equal to minus x and y1 as equal to minus y now sin of pi plus theta y1 by r now you observe that y1 is equal to minus y so we get minus y by r so which will be equal to minus sin theta cos of pi plus theta is x1 by r which is again minus x by r so which will be equal to minus cos theta tan of pi plus theta is y1 by x1 so this will be minus y by minus x so which will be equal to y by x and which will be equal to tan theta this is something very special that you have to observe sin and cos are both negative in the third quadrant since sin and cos both are negative tan becomes positive cos is negative sin is negative now cot of pi plus theta again since tan of pi plus theta is tan theta so this will be plus cot theta secant of pi plus theta that is minus secant theta cosecant of pi plus theta whatever happens for sin will also happen for cosecant therefore this will be again equal to that is minus so the speciality of the third quadrant is only tan is positive when i say tan is positive that is cot is also positive observe here we are discussing about the trigonometric functions of 2 pi minus theta actually this theta if it is an acute angle minus theta probably when we measure the angle in the clockwise direction it becomes minus theta but here we are actually moving in the anti clockwise direction therefore you are getting 2 pi minus theta but 2 pi minus theta and minus theta they do fall in the same quadrant but the angle minus theta is not same as 2 pi minus theta that you have to please keep it in mind now in this again since q will be in the uh, fourth quadrant where your x is positive and y is negative x1 will be equal to x and y1 will be equal to minus y accordingly 
sin of 2 pi minus theta will be y1 by r which will be minus y by r and which is equal to minus sin theta and this is negative. Cos of 2 pi minus theta is x1 by r which is equal to x by r so which is again equal to cos theta which is positive. Coming to tan of 2 pi minus theta y1 by x1 minus y by x which is again minus tan theta which is negative. Now cot of 2 pi minus theta becomes minus cot theta, secant of 2 pi minus theta is plus secant theta, cosecant of 2 pi minus theta this will become equal to minus cosecant theta. So the speciality of this fourth quadrant is only cos is positive. So therefore, we come across what is known as the ASTC rule. Please look at this diagram. The first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. The second quadrant, sin is positive. Therefore, even cosecant also will be positive. The third quadrant where tan is positive and cot is also positive. The fourth quadrant cos is positive and secant is also positive. So, this whole thing is you have to remember this as ASTC rule.